In this video, we're going to be looking at the next letter of this acronym, L for links. Now, at this point, if you get to this point, you basically created a very simple website. And this is the aim for every single person to get to this point. And even after this, we'll get you higher marks. But if you don't have this, these links, you don't, in theory, you don't actually have a website. If you don't have the pages linked to each other, it's not really a working website. So you have to aim to get this here. Okay, so let's have a look at that. I already have my pages all opened. And the task, it really is a, a simple one. You just click on the button and you choose the folder here where it says link, the page that it goes to. So home page goes to home page. So you click on that and it applies it there. Simple. Okay. And you go over here and you type, oh, so you select featured page. There you go. It's gone in and go to about us and click on about us sorry, about page. And that one's done, you press Control and S, and then you go to the next page and do the same exact thing all the way through. Okay, so I'm gonna show you again. Home page, home page, done. Features page, features page, done. About, about, done. Okay, and you just do that all the way through. So I'm gonna pause here, show you the end result. Okay, so I've now inserted all the um, links for for the pages from the navigation bar. And if I just open one of these on Chrome, you'll see how it uh, interacts with me and how it reacts. And if I go to full page, which is F11 on the screen, you'll see it's full page. Um, although we are allowed to scroll. And you'll notice when I click on the buttons, it does take me to the correct page. Okay, very simply. Just goes all the way around. Nice and simple. It works perfectly. The issue, obviously, if I go to F11 again, you can see at the top is this home page. When I click on features page, it goes to features page, about us page, and it goes to the about page. The only issue, as I was saying, is that at the moment, there isn't any links to the other two pages. Now, I'm going to show you a little diagram that I created early on. Um, here we go. In essence, um, we've got those three blue boxes there at the top, the three ones, the three uh, adult pages. We just don't have the child pages yet. And that's gonna come from the features page. So the link must be from there. And that's gonna be another task later on. So it's another video that's coming up soon. So we're not gonna worry about that just yet. But what I do need to show you, one last thing that I need to show you is this footer here. So we've got these, um, uh, these this text here, which is going to act as another form of navigating around the website for additional marks for those who want to get uh, extra marks for accessibility features. And the way you basically activate these is by inserting a hyperlink. So very similar to what we do with the buttons, but the difference this time is you're going to go down, you select the text that you want it to uh, apply to, and then you basically have to insert a hyperlink. If you can find it, there it is, hyperlink. And you simply find the page. So this is the about no home home button there it is and press OK and the title no we can leave that as it is no this is fine yeah and you just press OK and then do the same thing for the second one so web design page insert hyperlink web design Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's not web design, is it? I forgot to change these two in my um, template, so I? So that should be features page and that should be about page. So I'm just gonna just manually change this right now. So features page and uh, what was it again? About page, there it is. And like I said, insert hyperlink so that's going to go straight to features 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 there it is press ok and ok and about insert hyperlink click on that folder about press ok and press ok and then you have to press save and make sure you do the same thing in every single page so I'll do the same thing and make sure you basically save as you go through each tab okay and that's how simple it is once you get to this point, you have a working website. 
anything after this point is going to make it look nicer it's going to be professional you're hopefully going to make it a bit more inter interesting to look at with the use of images edited images uh, to be more specific and any other media this is why the next spot, uh, part or section is to get edited images because there's always some kind of editing needed and any media which in this case seems like is going to be a video so we'll look at that in the next um, section